Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, we're on video number two. We're down here in Florida. We're doing it on the Blackstone, but we're gonna do like a French toast breakfast sandwich. I know I'm excited and I think they're excited. Let's see what we got. Freshly, and I mean freshly seasoned flat top grill. If you guys haven't seen the video of how to take a rusty, ugly, nasty looking flat top grill and bring it back to perfection, you guys can watch that video right there. All right, let's get started. First thing I always say, it's really important to add the right type of protein to your reseasoned flat top grill to start off with, and no better way to start off with a pound of bacon. Matter of fact, I think my doctor said, if you start off your day with a pound of bacon, you'll live a little bit longer. <laughs> we need a disclaimer there. All right, now that our bacon's going down, I just rotate it over a little bit, put down some of these sausage links. And even all the way down in Florida, he's the man of my heart. He still can't eat sausage without being Tennessee pride. I'm right up there with him. My favorite sausage. All right, I'm gonna show you guys real quick. So we're down here in Florida. I don't have all my tools with me. But one problem I hear when people say that something sticks this is one of the solutions. It does not mean it's all the solutions. It's one of the solutions. Anytime you cook protein on the flat top and then try to put an egg down or rice down, you need to make sure that you're starting with a fresh flat top, okay? A lot of these um, proteins will have sugars in them. Take the maple sausage out of the equation. Even your chicken, your beef, and stuff like that. That's how your meat caramelizes. So what happens is, is a lot of this fond builds up on your flat top, okay? If you put your eggs right on top of this, even though it's good fat, the protein will actually hurt the eggs and it makes your eggs stick. So while my stuff's cooking, I tell you guys to clean as you go, just like this. And the whole idea is you're trying to get all that fond off of your flat top to start with a clean surface. All right, now that we got all the meat off the flat top, I just went ahead and cleaned it. I found this bread at the grocery store I don't know if you've ever walked by and smelled it, but my Lord, it smells good. So that's the type of bread we're gonna use today, okay? All right, we're kind of limited on ingredients. I just got three eggs and about three quarters of heavy cream. Since we don't have brown sugar, vanilla, or cinnamon, I just went and added a good splash of syrup in there, and that's gonna be our French toast batter, okay? So just like this. Like any good French toast, you wanna let the bread soak up the moisture. We're gonna put some butter down, flip them, see what we got. All right, just about amount of time it takes for you guys to dunk your bread. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, perfect. While our uh, French toast is cooking, I'm gonna come back in here, do a couple over easy eggs, see how good our flat top re-seasoning process was. All right, guys, so I've mentioned several times that we're, we're working with limited ingredients and limited utensils. I'm at my brother-in-law's house, if you, guys, if you guys just now tuned in. We're so limited on ingredients that salt and pepper is no brainer. Like, we don't even have it in the facility. I could not imagine. We're, 
<laughs> with, <laughs> with, uh, <laughs> so, all right, so I've just flipped the French toast again. They're done. I'm gonna pull those and we're gonna continue to making this French toast sandwich. All right, guys, here we go. I'm gonna flip these just for a second. Put that top part. Come back in here, warm that bacon up, get it a little bit pliable. I don't have any fancy uh, powdered sugar or anything like that, so. This is just like we're in the wild cooking. Cooking on a campsite. There you go. The French toast breakfast sandwich and it cannot been done a better way. All right guys, so I just finished doing a massive breakfast on the Blackstone. Everybody's got their individual eggs, bacon, sausage. Well, I tell you what, you dump this in some syrup. Mmm. But since I added syrup to the French toast batter. Is that your French toast sandwich dance? Let's see it. Or is that your vacation dance? <laughs> My hula hoop dance. It's good. I like it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Mm. Williams Family Vacay, let's go find some food!